unusual to have windows bigger than a doorway. You know, when it's a double doorway like that. Oh, well, however, the little archway there. That indicates it's at the right level. So it kind of conflicts a little bit, but as you move down, there is signs. We, we're just next to the cathedral, Manchester Cathedral. But there is signs of possible mud flood. Especially when we get to this next building here. This is the Scholar Mancunisis. Now I keep finding this. Lots of different words for Mancunians. It used to be M A N. C U N I U N Mancunian. But I'm getting all these different spellings. That Roman one the other week, which I'll show you now from the Roman wall. The Roman fort of Mancunium. Not Mancunium. Nicum. Man. Mamun. I can't even pronounce that. And then this one above this building here. Now this is 1870, this building. So if this is indeed mud flooded, it would suggest it was after 1870. So it just gets us a little bit closer to pinning a date down. Look at the size of the windows above. And then the floor above that. And then you come down to these size windows. And this has obviously been filled in since, but as you can see, if we look through the gap of the broken windows there, if I can get that to focus a bit better, lighting it up, you can see there's a window inside there. See the old original window there. <coughs> now we've got the floor opened up down here, but let's just have a quick look at this sign. The plat marks the original site of the Manchester Grammar School on which for more than four centuries successive generations of boys were educated. The school was founded in 1515 by Hugh Oldham, Bishop of Exeter, whose arms appear above the remained here without interruption until 1931 and the school was transferred to its present site at Rush Hole. Now we get to see here through the railings, that's interesting vent there you get to see the full window as it would have been and a windowsill down there at the bottom it's almost hidden there with the floor tiles in place but as you get to here It opens it up a lot more to see the original architecture of the building. I don't think I'll be allowed in here because it's uh, all barriered off and everything, but 
uh, Cheatham's School of Music, reconstructed in 1969 from the combined schools of Cheatham's Hospital 1653 and Nichols Hospital 1881. We're at Victoria Station, as you can see there, as with most clocks now, they don't have the IV. Um, this is getting very rare to see now, it's the four ones, I'm seeing it there, that everywhere. Uh, I thought this would be a classic example of a mud flood building, but to be honest, it looks like the whole fascia has been rebuilt up. However, on this side of it, again, initially, there's no signs of mud flood. Until you get to here. And then there's a steps going down. I don't know what it leads to. I'm going to try and get in there, but it is chained off. But look, look at these. I'm zoomed in, sorry. Um, bricked up windows. Does suggest, and even the way this wall is here, it does suggest that these steps were put in afterwards to me. Um, and we can't get in there, it's, it's a very sturdy lock, unfortunately. And it is daylight. And there are people around. Not very many, to be fair. Um, I think I could get in here, you know. The old handrail there, that obviously is very old. Very worn. I would love to know what was down there. I'm at the other side of the... Uh, Royal College and we'll see if there's any signs of mud flood from this end. Let's go down and uh, inspect a little bit closer. Well unfortunately it's all fenced off. It does however say here artists entrance. I wonder if I could pass as an artist. <laughs> Certainly a piss artist. I'd have loved to have got on the other side of that wall and been able to see over the wall to the bottom of this building. This is more of, of the original part of the original building there. That's a real shame that. The Cooperative Wholesale Society Limited. Another mud flood building there. Wait for the tram to come past. Nearly got run over, guys. Oh, I've seen you. A lot of these buildings, as you can see there, let's get off the tram tracks, have been... Um, Repurposed, refronted, new bricks put on the front, new fascias. Only a few of them. The old existing architecture now. Uh, so this bu uh, building from the 12th of May 1875. That's a completely repurposed entrance, so we can't use that as reference. But this side's very interesting. Why would you bother, eh? Why would you do that? Huge windows above. Tiny little window. And just next door here, I don't know about you, 
Well, that looks like it might have been an old doorway. Very short, though. If I uh, come and stand next to it for reference, you know, you'd have to duck down to get in it. Maybe a window. This is the building from the back. Um, interesting. Bricked up door there as well. Obviously, they repurpose these buildings over time. This one's even smaller. Let's, uh, for reference. Down here. <laughs> It's a very unusual design of buildings to make the windows go different sizes as they go along. It's not a trend that continues on the next floor. All the same size there. But on this floor, they start off big and then they get smaller. as we get nearer to the end here we get absolutely tiny oh. start large or larger and you end up down here below waist height and you can see they've got the old brickwork filled in where it does seem they dug out around the windows at some point Then you go over the road, and you've got the same again. And over the road here, same again. Two of the last original buildings to survive around here. A lot of them have been replaced and rebuilt now with horrible structures like that. Is an interesting building. Seems they dig dig some out, doesn't it? Left the street levels the same, but that was a window. I'm looking for an old entrance down this bottom part now, so. Let's go around the building and see if we can find the old entrance. And we can presume that down there is the old street level, which is now up here. Of course the entrance to this building now which comes up to this to match this floor which you would consider the second floor steps going up and looking at this brickwork around it does look like this was modified after the original structure it looks slightly different brickwork Now again at the front of the building here, obviously it goes down quite a lot and you've got the same old story, raised entrance to match the second level. I mean they really would have built these to be at street level at the entrances. 
at least at one of the entrances surely now it does look like we may have found the old entrance here this whole bricked up area there going down you know repurposed now with the air conditioning machine but was that the original entrance and that the top of it with drainage that if you look down there does look like it was the original entrance underneath there if I can lighten that up a little bit try and get a shot from the other side of it was that the original entrance at the original ground level it does look like it to me and look at that rope on the window there in dust help <laughs> on the uh, opposite side of the print works now and it's this building I'm interested in As we come to the side here, see completely bricked up windows. The ones above it are bricked up as well, but that's because it's now a shop. I presume living accommodation above are abandoned. But half windows again. Unfortunately, it is the parking place for these guys, so <laughs> we'll just scoot in between the buildings. That's interesting. It's got a windowsill there, but then all the way up, as if that was one big long continuous window. Uh, obviously, more bricked up buildings there, uh, windows there, but that is because it is now a shop. The ones down here, look at that. And when you look at the sloped roof there you know it's not very high up to have where your slope is and then this all looks re reworked as if as if afterwards they have been replaced In the back streets now guys just praying I don't get mugged <laughs> but look, look and look how close they are to the second floor of windows when you look above there's a bigger gap between those windows than there are between these and of course a raised entrance
Well, the usual Manchester weather's moved in, guys. And contrary to what it says above my head, it's not super dry. It's super wet. It's starting to rain. So that ends the outdoor tour of Manchester's mud flood buildings for now. I'm going to head into Class Olsen because they've got a closing down sale. Got a few batteries for the cameras. And then over to the library, a bit more research. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. Realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far. Like a dragonfly, just grow my head from him sin. Or I get scared 